On the forum discussing atheism and religion, of course, this is a heated argument, I make mention that some atheists, no, not all religious people, are zealots, but that we continue to regard them as such until we stand up and announce that they are not zealots. Well, you can guess the response. They called it propaganda and even accused us of dirty tactics. But here's the problem. We didn't start that notion. Yes, it is actually what zealots did. Not anyone else. The zealots attempted to lump all of you reasonable Christians with them, as if they are the ultimate speakers of religious people. So why are some of us atheists doing as well? Because we want you religious, reasonable people to stand up and tell your zealots that they do not speak for you anymore. We are just writing the meme. We didn't create it. By continually repeating the zealots' assertions, we are letting you all know they are trying to speak for you. They are being self-proclaimed leaders. So long as you are quiet, you are making this assertion true, and us atheists are just repeating a fact. But when you stand up and speak out against them, then you prove us atheists wrong. We could take being wrong, so please, prove us wrong. In reality, most atheists, hopefully they don't prove me wrong on this, do not want a war and consider this whole mess a waste of time. The zealotry is creating a huge divide in religious communities. Is that what you really want? The zealots are showing ignorance and lacking intelligence. Is that who you really want to speak for you? Religious zealots are crying for war. Does anyone want that? This does not mean you even have to agree with anyone else. On the contrary, this is a call for you to speak out and up for yourself. One fact that is often forgotten about atheists. Each one is unique and no two will agree on everything. This is not a weakness. As you can see, it is a strength. Some have religious beliefs, just lacking a belief in a God. Some are scientific minds who love to analyze and critically investigate every claim. Some prefer the natural world of trees and animals. Others will be daredevils and risk takers. Because of this, the pool of ideas, skills, and strengths are diverse enough that when we team up, we prove rather difficult opponents in debates, discussions, and even in politics. So too can the good religious people be the strong, but only if they embrace their diversity instead of keeping it silent. You do not have to shed your belief in a God or deny religion to embrace the diversity. You just have to ignore a few more parts of the doctrine that are holding you back. But most importantly, you need to let the zealots and everyone else know that they are not your voice. No longer at the mercy of the reptile brain, we can change ourselves.